going on ninjas? What is going on? You know what today is ninjas? It's pump Monday. And I just finished the whole list for today. I got everything done, but I didn't get a chance to record. So I figured what better way to finish the day than to review the two animals. So as you ninjas know, I've been running the 61 inch SG Ninjas mower now for a while. And that is the 61 inch and it's my go-to mower. Uh, I pretty much use it even on small grainy yards. And of course, some of the bigger yards, there's some additional features that have been added to it, which are not standard, but I have been contacted from Ferris and Ferris said, Hey, would you like to demo one? And I said, absolutely, because I have been wanting to take a look at the Z3X myself ever since it came out. And so they brought me one. It is the 52 inch. It is a little bit smaller, but overall it's everything is the same besides the deck itself between the 52 and the 61. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of my, some, maybe some of the pros, cons, maybe just some differences and compare them. Maybe. Uh, uh, you know, what I like about some features on one of them, may not like on the other one, vice versa. And we're gonna just kind of go over everything and go from there. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you everyone had a great Monday. I have been running solo today. If you guys are wondering what's going on, those of you who have been keeping up, Tyler, the lawn styler, had an accident this last weekend, totaled his car. He is okay, so thank goodness for that. And he's all right. But he's got a lot on his hands. We chit-chatted this last weekend when I got back into town from the trip that I had up in Knoxville. And he seemed okay, everything was all right. I actually met him in person, gave him his check on Sunday, which I normally don't do, payday is on Monday. He said he would be here today, but then he did text me this morning and said that lawn care is just not for him. Now look, I told you ninjas, uh, he had a week's trial, so I'm not mad about that. This was one week for him to figure out if this is something he wanted, but it was also for me to figure out if this is something uh, that I wanted him uh, hired on, you know, as a full timer and go from there. And I don't like the fact that he told me he would be here and then shoots me a text, but at the same time, can't be too mad at the guy. He did a great, phenomenal job and well, for the time being that he was here. And I wish him all the best. He's a good dude. Anyway, that's just the update. Let's get into what this video is really about. So here we have the Ferris Z3X, which is what just got dropped off to me a little bit later in the last week, so to say, middle of last week. And then this is the SG Ninjas mower. They do have the same engines, which is the Vanguard EFI 37 horsepower. So that is the same thing, same power wise, but there are some big differences. One of the first and foremost things they have in common is they're both dirty. They both need to be washed. So I <laughs> just wanted to get that out of there. One of the biggest differences that stood out to me, and I think it would stand out to anybody who is in the market, whether you're looking for a stand on mower of this kind or a stand on mower of this kind, is this big yellow cap here. And this is the Vanguard oil guard and that is where you don't have to change your oil but every 500 hours basically once a year and so that is a big big plus not sure why these brands of mowers have it and i think there might be another brand that has it but these don't but i did hear a rumor that these mowers would be getting it as well so that is something that is awesome i am kind of curious to see how profitable that will be because keep in mind you're changing this every 50 to 100 hours. You're changing this every 500 hours. But when you change this oil, you have to change all of this oil. So you're not going to just get two quarts. You're going to probably get quite a bit more quarts. So trying to kind of redo my own research and kind of look into and see, is it really worth it? And how much uh, more of the strain that it's putting on the engine? So that's just something I'm personally looking into. But anyway, that's one of the first things that stands out. Okay, I'm gonna kind of go into the detail just a little bit back and forth, so bear with me here. Here we have a battery. Uh, it is covered up by a piece of metal. So that is where the battery is. Over here, the battery is on the same side, a little bit higher. It is in a plastic box and a strap is holding it. So that's perfectly fine. Pretty much the same thing. This 
has a little bit of a guard here for the hot muffler that does not i have also noticed this they're both floating decks i believe is what they would call them because this engine drops down with your deck and this engine floats this whole deck actually floats so if you look right here there's a cutoff when i first got it i just thought this whole thing was one frame but then as i got closer and looked at it there's a cutoff here so that's why you have these so every time you hit a bump this whole thing actually moves but not the frame pretty neat design if you ask me here we have a standard flap this one is a little bit different it's a little bit more rounded i think i like this flap a little bit more and here's why ninjas just because it doesn't stick out as far as this one now keep in mind on the 52 i'm not really sure if the same size tires come on a 61 that's something i would have to ask the rep which i will be happy to once he decides or when he does come and pick up this unit from me which i believe will be at some point end of this week gas tanks are right here that is another difference so on this one the gas tank is actually positioned in the center and this is where you top it off okay it holds 11 gallons unlike on these you have them on both sides not really sure on top of my head right now how much they actually hold you got the fuel gauge right here which is very handy one big flaw for me is the fuel gauge on this so we got a big circle cut out right here into the metal but for, for some reason they got it right down there now it's not a huge deal of course you can just peek on down there sneak peek and take a look at it and see how much fuel have but my question is why couldn't they just extend that bring it on up here not only would it be able to hold a little more gas i would assume maybe i don't know but it would be definitely nice to see this hole filled in and easier for the operator parking brake is right here and on this one parking brake is right here so you've got the parking brake on the left side and on this you've got the parking brake on the right side not a big deal they are actually both very handy whether it was right here or right here that's perfectly fine another thing that kind of took me by surprise is why the hour meter could not be anywhere up here why does it have to be right here i think as an operator you'd kind of want to be able to see it very easy access instead of having to lean forward or come around and take a look at it right here again not a huge thing but it's just a little things like that that stood out to me key is right here pto switch is right here your throttles right here all that's handy dandy fine one of the other big things that stood out to me your deck adjustments really easy setup right here you've got all your heights and it's not hard at all just to push up a button drop it down bring it back up what i found out ninjas by using this unit which i did not realize by using that unit is it's right here in front of me so when i am using this mower and i'm standing on it and i need to quickly change deck heights take the pin out put it in whatever height i need it bam done unlike on that mower like i said i didn't realize it at the time but it's right here so what does that mean ninjas it means every time i have to change deck heights i actually have to step off of the machine bend over and take a quickly close look at it and put the pin in the proper height get back on the machine and then drop the deck which the deck on the ninja mower is right here okay now that to me is a big plus for the ferris i did not realize what kind of a pain it is to go down here each time i think one of the worst things about it is just that you're having to step off of the machine if you didn't have to step off of the machine and you're able to do this while you're standing on it i don't think it'd been as bad but still you're having to bend over anyway i do like that feature one of the biggest differences that stood out to me when i started mowing with this ferris z3x is this particular one and i think all ferrises do they have or at least stand-ons they have two metal bars one in the front one in the back and your handles are actually in the middle unlike the ninja mower you've got one metal bar right here and you've got front and back so that way you're kind of depending on this metal bar the whole time 
here you're depending on these two metal bars so you're going like that or like that not a huge deal but it's something that i had to get used to for the first couple of days just because i kept always wanting to reach for that middle bar and then i realized oh the middle bar is actually my handles another really cool feature is you can actually adjust your speed right here so you can bring it all the way back especially if it is for a starter person somebody that you're training this is pretty cool and as they get more comfortable you can take it up a notch so you're opening that gap for a bigger throttle and then that notch or i should say bigger more speed instead of bigger throttle and then this is the max right here so that is pretty cool now this very last one is the max it's really not a mowing <laughs> speed i think it's more of a traveling speed so i always leave it at this because it is a little too fast when you put it over here and if you're trying to cut some grass at a good quality you might be skipping through some stuff so also this platform is actually very very comfortable ninjas you've got this huge spring right here and i'm not really sure if there's anything underneath yes there are some bushings underneath plus the spring so when you step on it you are literally i feel like i'm on air which is very very nice when it comes to the ninja mower you do not have any kind of spring As a matter of fact you do have small little springs right here but that has nothing to do i think with comfort and the only thing you have i'm trying to see if i can zoom it in down here is these four bushings so you've got two on this side and two on this side now they are very heavy duty and they do a good job they're fine but the spring i've noticed has made a big difference in comfort another thing that really stood out to me that is a big difference from the ninja mower is that to disengage your hydraulics all you got to do is pull and push down and it locks in right there on both of them no fighting no tools required all you need is your fingers your hand and you just pull it out parking brake is off now look I'm able to literally push this mower around with ease, one hand, no problem. And if I just, when I get done with it, if I need to, if I have trouble with it or whatever, and I need to take it back to the trailer, once I'm there, push it back in. And that's it. Unlike with the Ninja mower, you actually have to loosen these pins, which you cannot do by hand and you will need either some pliers or something just to turn it and once you do you should be able to do the same thing but you are you are needing at least pliers or some kind of a tool to release the hydros in case you ever have trouble with it and you need to move it around now one thing with the ninja mower easy access to your hydros your pumps there all that just by a flap this one you actually have to oh it just lifts too there you go but it's not an, as easy of an access as the other one you do have your fuel tank right here but everything else is kind of hidden so that's something to keep in mind okay one of the other biggest things that people care about is cut quality what kind of quality does the ferris have compared to the ninja mower and i can tell you right now that the cut quality with the icd compares to the ninja core which is the aero core I would say the ICD is a closer cut to a Velocity deck. I'm relating it to that because I own several scab mowers. <laughs> and, uh, you know, looking back on it every time I make a pass, it reminds me of the scab that I had, which is the Turf Tiger, and how well it cut. The scab did cut beautifully. I just had scab issues uh, with many other things. But as far as the cut quality, the Velocity deck is on point. Unlike the Ninja Core, which is the Aero Core, it cuts perfectly fine as well, as long as you have, of course, your sharp blades, but that's for any mower. But one of the things with the Aero Core and the ICD, the ICD, I feel like, dispenses the grass better. The Aero Core, not as much. Now, that is a farm deck i call it this is my personal thing i call it a farm deck this why it reminds me so much of the velocity deck because the deck itself is a little bit more of that 
higher maintained type of yards. Uh, this deck will do perfectly fine when you are cutting maintained yards. It's designed for that, I feel like. Anybody um, that knows a little bit more about these, particularly in the ICD one, feel free to comment down below. Let me know if it's something that I'm missing or not. But I do feel like it has a bit of a cleaner cut. But they both cut really well. Absolutely. I'm happy with both of them. But it's just something that stood out to me since I've used this one. I do wish they brought me the 61 because to me the 61 would be more of a closer comparison. But regardless, it's just a bigger mower with bigger tires, I would assume, since they do have the same engines. And of course, it would be the bigger deck. Other than that, I'm noticing you've got one, two three on the 52 and you've got one two three of course four but that one popped out busted broke off and i need to go probably by the dealership tomorrow and get a new one and of course with this one the the engine does not drop down with the deck the engine stays where it's at unlike with this one you've got the engine going down with the deck i feel like that's a little bit more beneficial just with when you're dealing with hills i don't think that may have too much of an impact for people who are just mowing flat yards i actually think it may not be as good if you're just you know cutting beautiful healthy fescue yards whatever type of grass it is but they're all flat just because then you're putting too much weight on it and you're more likely to scalp but when you're dealing with hills which is the area that i'm in that actually comes real handy because you're putting more pressure down in the center more weight is down there which means holds the hills better now the other thing that i was thinking if i was to go with a 61 inch i would definitely see if i could get the twills i've actually fallen in love with the twills it took a little uh, getting used to at first but now that i've ran them for a little while twills is the way to go and i'm not sure if ferris even has an option to add the two inch spacers but if they do that is something i would want to do as well just to have that wider stance which means holding the hills even better i must say i'm really impressed with ferris i used to joke with a lot of ninjas who ran ferris and probably still run ferris uh just messing around back and forth kidding around uh because you know the quality cuts and whatnot but now that I've actually had one in my possession for a couple of days and the rest of this week, I do have to say, they cut beautifully and they're beautiful mowers. Little flaws here and there, but that thing is not perfect. No mower is perfect. And every mower will have something that may not be to your liking. Now keep in mind with the EFI engines, you cannot just turn the key. I mean, you can, but it's not good for it from what I've always been told. So when you are turning the key and getting ready to start the engine you always want to turn the key and it's into the first position and you'll hear click and when it stops is when you turn the key And of course, on the Ninja Mower, the same thing. So there you have it, Ninjas. I hope that's helped out some of you maybe who are in the market for a mower like this or who may be in the market for a mower like that. I will try to demo a couple other brands. I'm still talking to quite a few companies and I wanted to take just one at a time and just take my time and really keep it and get to know that brand dust and you know just get a good feel for it i love demoing i love it so i want to big say a big shout out and a thank you to ferris and the dealer who reached out and hooked me up with the z3x uh, like i said i've been wanting to check this thing out ever since it came out it's a beautiful machine as that one and they're both good mowers they do cut differently they do feel differently which brings me to my one last thing. The controls are very, very touchy on this one compares to that one. They're very, very touchy. I do feel like for some reason this mower is a little bit faster than that mower. I can only come up with one solution or one reason for that, I should say. And that is, I feel like this mower is more compact. I feel like it's more compact. Everything is right there. It's a little bit pushed in, unlike that one, but I just feel like 
it's squeezed in. May have something to do with it, may not. That's just my guess. But it does feel like it's a little bit faster than that one. Now, the controls are a little bit more sensitive and touchy. That can be a good thing. That can be a bad thing. If you're having to jerk a, something real quickly or move, move out of the way or make sure, you know, like quickly you don't hit something, you might like these controls. Those controls, they're not as active, but they are pretty strong controls. They're just not as touchy. But sensitive controls can also be a problem. You're more likely, especially when you're turning, to dig into the yard. Your tires are very touchy, so it's something to get used to. Again, it's taken me a couple of days to get the hang of it. Just a big difference. That deck just reminds me the quality of the cut more of a velocity which is by the scabs <sighs> so there you have it ninjas i hope you enjoyed this little review it's all i got for today didn't get any mowing footage or anything like that so hope you enjoyed i hope it's helped some of you stay tuned uh, i'll try to have some more mowing footage tomorrow and uh we'll finish up the week with this bad boy and then hopefully we'll be on to other great things and see what's out there for us to review next thank you for watching appreciate you ninjas and as always, we'll see you Thunder Pump Tuesday. Peace!